You saw uh, there's a vine of Nas copying your album, and he bought like five of them. That's hot. Wait, for real? Yeah, he just copped them shits, man. Is he joking? Or is this no, I'm real? fucking with you, man. <laughs> no, you can't do that, man. I got mad excited. <laughs> you about to go on this vine. I got like, mad what? excited. <laughs> I got mad excited right there. You know, uh, you know I, I, I like the record where you know you, you, you kind of like, is, is it like a subliminal thing with Nas, or like you're nah. just like bringing it out, or you really think that you disappointed him? Because... Nas had Uchi Wally. I mean, I don't understand. How how would he hate work it, you know? Work out. No, he, work out. I'm he, sorry. It's not that he hated it, man. It's, yeah. It's that thing that he said was probably so small and insignificant. It's not like he was driving around. Like, so it wasn't like, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. But when it, mm. when it reached me, it was a big thing. You know what I mean? To hear something like that. So that's why I, that song is what it is. That's just a real, it's me explaining that emotion and that feeling. Mm. And like, damn, yo, I look, damn. And a lot but, of people are taking it out of context and in the wrong way without really kind of... I think a lot of people are because immediately that they think it's like, oh, he's going in Nas. Like, nah, you know, yeah. no, 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 no. I, we know that's not the case. Yeah, whoever's, yeah. whoever's taking it like that is no, nah, you're not hearing I mean, the song you know, people, people are ignorant. People on Twitter yeah. blow things out of proportion and yeah, so but, forth. Yeah, but nah, that's me talking to a real idol. Somebody I used to, mm. I used to literally go to sleep with headphones on and just repeat it was written a repeat. Wow. I am a repeat. You know what I mean? God, son. You know what I mean? I used to sleep to this music. You know what I mean? And just study. I had the raps on my wall. I used to, he had this song called Undying Love, dog. Oh, yeah. That's the shit right there. Oh, my God. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, you fuck my head up with that one. Undying <laughs> Love, like, probably, yo, you can't. That song only <laughs> makes sense. It's so incredible. <laughs> exactly. You can't just do nothing but laugh. You know wow, what I'm saying? So, like, crazy. that song is me paying homage, but also acknowledging and telling the story to the people of like how damn like you know mm. i let this dude down and i look <laughs> that was cool though that you came and fuck with the heads with that that was like some funny ass shit when you called them you're like yeah i got sex date with rihanna that's when you first had your first album came yeah out. nah the rumor came out first oh remember? <laughs> remember <laughs> yeah that's it right rumor. It was like j cole <laughs> sex tape rihanna and then every time somebody asked me my album was about to come out, so I was like, "Yeah, it's dropping soon." You know. But I mean? you guys were true friends, like yeah, yeah, cool. Because yeah, you, because yeah, yeah. when I would DJ clubs, y'all would meet up, and y'all just having fun. Yeah, it's like, just mad cool. It was mad no cool, kissing man. and tonguing and all that shit. Come on, man. I would do it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm shocked that, that there was no uh, like any kind of like cool record with her, because since you know the Rock Nation, yeah, I connection think and stuff. Come. That'll come. Later. Oh. Hey. No, nah, no, nah, not like that. Like oh. some exclusive who kid news. <laughs> Let me get that shit. <laughs> nah, but I'm saying like you know I got a you know a long a more way more albums to make. You know and I'm sure she's gonna be on top for a while. So Jay's the boss. Did he have to get the album first to get full approval? Nah, nah. Oh, get out of here. He let you do it on your yeah, own. Yeah, he just let me do it. And I, I went to here. him for advice this time. The first album was like I was really going to him for approval. Okay. I think because a because I thought that I needed it and I did. You know what I mean? Because it's his label. I'm sure it was like, this is his baby. So, you know, he he had a lot of say. But I think after the numbers came out and after they saw what I had built through the mixtapes, it was like, all right, we're going to let you So ride. he must be proud of you that he don't have to, like, babysit you. Like, he's you're out there doing is, your own man. shit. I think, I think, he I think is, that's man. part of yeah. part of what he's looking for in an yeah. artist that, 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 you know, okay, you're signed to Jay-Z, but it's not a crutch. Yeah, exactly. I think I think he's super proud. I was thinking about that the other day. Like, he's... He said it, you know what I mean? Mm. But, like, I really put myself in his shoes. And it's just like you said. It's like, man, he doesn't really, he didn't have to do much. He didn't have to babysit. He didn't have to walk me on to 106 mm. and Park. You know what I mean? He didn't have to come That's out hot. at the shows. But it's kind of tough love, too, in a sense. It is that, tough like, love. But it made me, like, way stronger and, like, uh, and better and tougher. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is exactly like tough love, but it it works. We just played Nice Watch. I mean, you know, that that, that was a hard record, too, man. <laughs> I know you got some other fucking J joints that you just yeah you know possibly hey we all <laughs> love getting information who from this guy who's that who's that you gotta be fucking <laughs> going crazy right now you know the spirits man well, I think I think the touring probably helped you more than like <clears throat> you know you know him walking you on somewhere or doing records with you yeah know? exactly those are the things and I think he knows that because mm. I'm learning the same thing as an artist it's like all these people want verses they think if they can just get a J Cole verse that like it can pop, and, I'm, and they don't even know. It's like, yo, it don't even work like that. I give yeah. you a verse, you put the song out, you got a J. Cole verse, guess what it gets you? It really gets you maybe a couple extra thousand plays, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. after that, it doesn't. it's not going to pop you off. And mm. I think Jay was aware of that, that the actual grind, the grassroots grind, is more important and more valuable than like him hopping on a record or like him walking me on the 106. That's like surface things that only like, Mm. That only lasts, but for so long. Like, oh, Jay, uh, Jay Z mentioned J Cole today. 
All right. That's crazy. That don't last as long as J. Cole going out and doing like 200 shows in one year. You know, that's more effective. I think your depressive situation is, did you have a period where you thought the, the machine wasn't pushing you? Is that what you meant by, like, you were like, uh, you needed, like, a little help here and there? Like, uh, nah, I don't I don't think Yeah, that wasn't a part of it. Okay. I did have a moment where I was like, come on, man, I done did all this. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I done did all this on my own. And you're looking at all these other guys that yeah, were I'm looking in, at the like, help Drake that they got, and everybody, right. like, fast-forwarding. Like, but choo, that choo. wasn't a part of, like, the... the the bad period. The bad period was like the second guessing myself because I was mm. looking for a hit. So every I couldn't even make music the same. Like you you're know, too busy trying to. I'm too busy trying <laughs> to think like, yo, is this a hit kick drum? Is this a hit snare drum? Yeah. Is this a hit hi hat? Is this a hit drum pattern? Is that a lot of extra pressure though? When you're not only yeah. the lyricist yes. and you know like that you're creating all the music too. Yeah, people don't understand. I'm creating it from scratch. I'm not just getting in the studio and rapping. I gotta make the beat, the music from scratch. So it is definitely extra. It must be pressure. fucked up for you because you're an in-depth dude, but you have to down your lyrics to get the hit. The hits that's really out of space is those corny, stupid songs that be in the club, and you, you'd be like, damn, do I really have to downgrade yeah. my shit for nah, that? I went through that, though. Damn. I went through that thought process mm. a couple years ago. You know what I mean? So, like... You figure it out, though. You figure it out because mm. I got... You got Workout, which is really simple lyrically, but then you got Can't Get Enough, which is full of, like, mm. crazy flows and real wordplay, and then you got... Power Trip, which is a combination of all that. Power Trip really got lyrics on it. I'm really rapping. But the flows on that, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, and then you got Crooked Smile, which is even more like the J. Cole that the mixtape fans know. You know what I mean? Crooked Smile is like, it's a more real topic. It ain't just about the girls. You know what I mean? I got like maybe five hit records now, like three of them. Three or four of them is like all female driven, but that's not all I do. I heard you woke up this uh, two days ago. This Yo, you read, you heard about it? You woke up. With a, a a bloody horse head in his bed, man. Because you know, hey, your album dropping the same with Kanye. You woke oh, up screaming, yeah, man. That was crazy. Is there like threats from Kanye's camp? Oh, I can't really, <laughs> I can't really verify that the. Uh, <laughs> it was a bloody horse head, or was it a goat head? <laughs> no, it was the horse. But I, could, okay. <laughs> I can't, I can't verify that it was Godfather shit right a connection there. Connection with Kanye. Okay, <laughs> but it's good. That, that's good that, that people have lots of options and and lots of good music all mm. in one fell swoop. It's like crazy. You know, it's like for 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 us the equivalent of going out and getting like you know Big Daddy K, EPMD, or whatever all in one day. Yeah. You know, it's summer eighty eight, and I'm sounding mad old, but nah, you know, it's like it was a good summer. Yeah, I was three. <laughs> <laughs> that's ill. He knows. Yeah, that's fucking nuts right there. <laughs> but a lot of artists, they a lot of artists veer away. They'll they'll push their album back because of the the big the big man album dropping. But it's good that you're like fuck that. No, I'm, I'm dropping my, my shit the yeah, same day. Yeah, I pushed he pushed it up. Head. Yeah, yeah that's up. oh, he did right. It was supposed to come out on the 25th, but yeah, you moved 25th, it. Up. I moved it up. Just, that's gangster. Yeah, I just had to do it because I wouldn't have been able to. I wouldn't have been able to like live with myself thinking like, damn, what if I'd have moved my date? You know mm. what I mean? What if I'd have moved it to his date? And then of course, if I get outsold, which is very clearly likely, it's Kanye West. Mm. You know what I mean? That's fine. That's going to bring you know, people to the stores. You know what I mean? The statement was made, you know, like, yo, you're going to have to put me in the conversation. You're going to have to put my album in the conversation. How, however you feel about his album or my album, I just want to be in the conversation. So love it or hate it, like it more, like it less. Talk about mine the same time you're talking about his. I think the, 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 what I'm seeing, reading, hearing, it's like it benefits both because people are coming to buy both. Yes. Because, you know, you're on... You're on the top of 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 their shopping list. You That's know? true. A so, lot of people are, are definitely copying both, or if not all albums, they yeah. buying J Cole, Kanye, Mac Miller, Static Select. They buying Static all Selecta. of it just su just supporting hip hop. That was yep. gangster. Yep. Real it's, quick before you disappear, yeah. man. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, you produced on this track. Was that a a, a swap off, or you guys are cool anyway? No, nah, because he's on your album. Oh yeah, yeah, we cool. Um, oh, you talking about the song that he's on? My oh. album or the song I did for him? Well, the song you did for him, but was that like a, a swap off or you guys are cool Nah, anyway? we got records together. We got way more records together. Oh, wow. So, okay. so the one that came out, High Power, I did the beat for that. Yeah. Um, classic. Without joining, it's classic. You classic. produced The Jig Is Up, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, The Jig Is Up with Kanai. Me and Kanai did that beat. Um, That's retarded. Is, is Kanai, for people that don't know, is he like under your Yeah, camp? Kanai is, is Dreamville affiliated. Kanai is a He's monster, a beast. man. He's that that beast. that uh, Kenny Lofton record we were playing for wise incredible. He's a beast, man. I might next album is like me and Kanai got things to do. 
You, did you hear Kanye's album? Well, what do you think of it? I did hear it. What do you think of it? It's very out of the box. Yeah, it's left. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's, it's Kanye West, so I respect him for even trying it. You know mm. what I mean? I'm a Kanye fanatic. You know, I, I really, I'm a fan of his. I was at the SOB show in 2003. I'm a big fan. So it's very little wrong Kanye can do in my eyes. So I respect him for going. 